I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit about sex, about 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 the grown. Okay. And welcome to another vlog. Hey, Mimi. Why is she always coming to my intro? So today, my boyfriend's coming over. I mean, he comes over like every day, but I always wanted to do a little the appointment video so I'm about to show you guys like the type of supplements I take I'm about to do like my skincare shower routine outfit light makeup all that cute stuff we're just gonna you know get it together for a pay okay I'm gonna get it together anyway but we definitely got to get it together today also so I know I said I know I said, I know what I said. I know it was gonna be, you know, a press on girl summer, but y'all, I had to do it. I had to do it. Look, my nails have been so, listen, my nails were like getting worse, but maybe they just get worse before they get better. Like, I really don't know. But let me just tell you that, listen, I had to. And she did a great job. I'm not gonna lie, like I low key also stopped going to get my nails done because I felt like, like, let me know in the comments if you guys feel this way about like nail techs now. But I feel like years ago, nail techs really like took their time with your nails and really like took care of your nails. And like for some reason, the quality was just better. They didn't break all the time. So that's also why I was kind of off getting my nails done. I'm like, the price is going up and the quality is going down, honey. Like we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Also, if you guys know any good black nail techs, please put her down in the description below. I live in Atlanta, so if you know any good black nail techs who do nails, who have good quality, put her down below. She actually took an hour to do my nails. Look how gorgeous they are. They look so good. She took her time, and I did something very simple. I used like American like white powder, and just with like a clear coat on top because it looks like funny bunny and that's what I get on my toes. So she killed it. I will be going to her again um, if I don't find any other nail techs because you know, we gotta keep it consistent so we keep getting good quality because baby, the quality of nail techs now in Atlanta, I don't know about y'all cities, but my city like, it's like they, it's either they just don't know how to do anything, like they just super stupid traditional or they're just like, care about the designs and the trends and don't really care about like the quality of the nails so you gonna get a nice little decoration but bitch that shit gonna break so anyway i just had to show that because i knew i was gonna look and be like bitch it's all press on and i was gonna be like no no sis but anyway let's go to the kitchen because i'm about to show you guys like the supplements and the stuff that i take and we're gonna make a, a little smooth and, you know we gotta you know get the you know get our fruits and vegetables in i feel like that's a really good tip when it comes to like d appointments and stuff like this you have to make sure that you're hydrated and you just want to make sure that you're eating your fruits and vegetables because that definitely affects like your smell your taste if you guys haven't seen my feminine hygiene video go check that out because i say some of the same tips in there okay so we've got our supplements all lined up so firstly like i said you have to hydrate i like essentia this is alkaline water and alkaline water just balances your body's ph but anyway let me show you guys my supplements the supplements i'm going to be using today so i already got some chlorophyll i already got some chlorophyll for my water that is so messy i need to get a new one really you guys saw me get this supplement the other day at target when i did the um like self-care motivation vlog this is really good. It's like a facial in a glass, as you can see, and it's got like eight different greens and all that good stuff. So we're gonna definitely put this in our water. Um, fenugreek, if you guys haven't heard about fenugreek, it just makes you smell like pancakes, so I really like fenugreek. It's a good one. And I wanna say that it just helps with energy as well, but you guys would have to look that up as well. I'm not a doctor, so just look up all the benefits, but I already did, that's why I bought it. Also, this is my favorite probiotic right now because it has um, UTI care and um, uh, probiotic, so it has the lactobacillus or whatever, and then it has like the cranberry as well as you can see. And I just really love that. For the girls because it's like you're killing two birds with one stone it's either only a um it's only a probiotic but this one actually has a cranberry in it for the uti so love that for us so we're definitely gonna take this so okay so i've got my chlorophyll water 
and I've got my alkaline water. So I think I'm gonna put the facial in a glass and my chlorophyll water. So when you open it up, it's got these little tablets. I think this is my last one. This was so good, this was like $14. It's like good, so when you put it in the water, it like fizzes. And I don't know if you're gonna see it because the water's already, oh yeah, you can't see it. But it's gonna like fizz. It's gonna take like a few minutes to break all the way down. But we're gonna drink that. While we're waiting for that though. So while we're waiting for that, we're gonna go ahead and take our probiotic slash like cranberry supplement. You only have to take one. They're not that big, that big. Let me see if it'll focus. But if it's hard for you to take pills, you might find this hard to take, but I don't find it very hard to take pills, so we're gonna take this. And I'm gonna take two fenugreek, two fenugreeks as well. I took some the other day and I already smell like a pancake, so this is just gonna like really give. I don't have any other like vaginal type of supplements that make you, that change the way you taste, but if you guys know of any, Definitely point me in that direction and I'll try them out for you guys in another video. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and take the fenugreeks and the capsules. So. Period. Okay. As you can see, it's almost, I think it's done. But this is the green apple one. I think they have other flavors. Just in case you guys want to see it again. I think they have other flavors, but this is, um, it's not that bad. The green apple is not that bad. I mean, it's not for the taste. We're not taking it for the taste. We're taking it for the health benefits. You know what I'm saying? I need to do these dishes before he comes over here. So I think I'm about to do these dishes. Mm, and then I'm going to meet you guys in the bathroom. a change in quality my lens got hella foggy I, I think I guess it's from that hot ass shower that I took you know I guess women were kind of demons we just like these hot ass showers I don't know why I did that but it's a little foggy and I don't like how it's looking so I figured to just not annoy myself I would just film with my phone that's why we had a phone Ooh. so we're about to do you know a little quick face nothing too crazy because again I don't know what we're about to do but you know, this is just will be like an easy little face that you can do when you just want to look cute for a second and it look cute really quick. So I'm going to do a face and then I'm going to do my hair because babes, like we've got to figure the hair out too. So 
We're gonna do all that right now. I'm gonna start off with my Fenty foundation. I'm in the shade 385. And I'm using this Juno blender that I just got from, um, from Target. So yes. Just gonna... Oh, I forgot my brushes. We're doing our makeup. I kind of wanted to talk about, a little bit about sex, about 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 the grown. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about it, and kind of like I'm wondering what you guys think of like casual sex as well, because at my age, at this point, I like to spray a little bit of this. At this point, I'm not into it. I'm lucky that I'm in a relationship and I don't have to be in that position. But what do you guys think of like casual sex? I honestly don't even feel like it's worth it for women to engage. It's so funny because I feel like it was like a, an agenda pushed on women to just make sex easier to get for men. Do you know what I mean? Because what do we really gain from casual sex? What do we really gain? Like, for real, be real. What do we gain from casual sex? Nothing much. And to be honest, um, you know, men really are the only beneficiants, beneficiants of casual sex anyway. If we're being honest, because let's keep it real. Like, for me, I don't know about you guys, but I honestly never experienced a big like an orgasm until I was with someone that I honestly like fell in love with so quickly that was like my first experience with like having an orgasm and then my boyfriend now like it's like in like not to put you guys in our business but like I mean look it's it's uh it's off the charts like my my our our intimacy is off the charts I'm trying to figure out a way to say it our intimacy is off the charts, you guys. And I honestly think that's because our connection and our bond is so amazing. And honestly, as you get older, you start to realize that as a woman, you're like how you're turned on is mentally, you're turned on spiritually, intimately, and a lot of those different things. So that's just something to think about. If you don't have a man, I would encourage you to wait for one, for one guy. Cause I personally just don't even think it's worth it out here for y'all. I really don't. I really do not think casual sex is worth it. And to be honest, if you're young, like if you're young and you're watching this, if you're like 18, 19, 20, trust me sis, it gets better as you get older because you learn your body more as you get older. Like you learn your body more, you're more aware, you're more aware of like what turns you, turns you on and what turns you off most importantly. So I would just wait, like if you don't have a partner right now, just wait. Because listen, cash, the cash, yeah, the cash is definitely not worth it. Blend. This doesn't look like it's a match for me, but it's just the lighting because the lighting is like, let me see if I can fix the lighting a little bit. It doesn't look like it's a match, but it really is a match. It's a really good match in real life. I don't know why cameras do that. I think this is pretty good coverage. Is it the perfect like de-appointment type of foundation because it's so matte. So for concealer, we're gonna go in with the Makeup Forever HD Concealer. It's a really light concealer, not the craziest amount of coverage, but it definitely gets the job done. And I like to conceal just like really close to my nose. Nothing too crazy, and then we're gonna put it on our nosey. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit as well. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the e.l.f. concealer as well because I just love this concealer so much. The best $7 you'll spend on makeup for real. E.l.f. concealer is fire. I'm really excited to show you guys 
the Savage Fenty uh, cream blush that I got the other day. Oh, it's in focus. It is so pretty. I already started using it, but it is so gorgeous. Look at that. Do you see that? It's so, it's like this, it's like orange, but it's pink. It's orange, but it's pink. So yeah. Can you guys tell the difference with the camera quality? Like from when I was just filming? Or is it? Because I'm using the cinematic mode on my phone and um, I'm recording in 4K. So hopefully you got it. It's like, you can see it. This blender is so nice. This blender is honestly so nice. Oh my gosh. I had heard so much about this blender, but I think recently they put it in Target. And I love my e.l.f. blender, the pink e.l.f. blender. That blender is so soft and so pretty. Like, not so soft and pretty, but it makes your makeup so pretty, but because it, it's so soft. Like, you could really get an airbrush from that um, cheap little thing. And this is about the same price. So I just wanted to try it to see like if I liked it or not. And honestly, so far, this blending my makeup is really, really well. Like, I like it a lot. And it's like, no creases, like, really pretty. I'm even gonna like, just blend a little bit more. So that's good, that's, a, that's enough concealer. I feel like nothing too crazy. Cute, okay, so let's go ahead and set the under eye. I'm gonna use my Laura Messier. And I'm honestly, should I use a brush? Let's see how this works, see with the powder as well. I'm just gonna set it. I'm not gonna really bake, just you know, a quick little. Set the smile on, cause you know baby had me smiling. Baby had me laughing. <laughs> honestly, that's the best thing, like, Laughter is one of the best forms of intimacy. Like, I honestly, I laugh with my boyfriend so much. Like, we laugh all day. I'm not gonna lie. We have the best chemistry, like, and we just laugh so much. Like, he's really like my best friend. I know that's so cliche, but he really is. He really is my bestie. Okay. That really, you guys, do you see under eye? Wow, I don't know if it's this black. It might be this. You guys, go get this from Target because, and tell me if it's not a fluke because for some reason, I feel like this is really set, that set my under eye so nicely. Okay, so let's go ahead and I like to spray setting spray. Actually, no, first, let's go ahead and um, do our bronzer. So I'm just gonna, I like to just mix them and just do a quick little buff. Nosey. While we're doing the nose, let's go ahead and I like to take a brush like this and just snatch it right here. That did something, I don't, I don't I think it did something, okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and spray this before we do the blush. So I feel like I, want it, I don't want it to be so like powdery when I um, blush, so let's do that. Let's use this blush, I mean brush, so pretty. Start right here. You guys see it? Oh, it's so pretty. That's so pretty. I don't even need that. I can just use. Look at it, you guys. When you see like that subtle glow that it kind of gives, you might not even need to wear a highlighter. I'm probably gonna put a little highlighter on, but you don't even need highlighter. A little bit of my nosy. This is just so pretty for the summertime. I love this. 
Okay, that's so pretty. I don't think I need any more. That's so pretty though. Okay, so for eyes, actually let's do eyebrows. I'm tired of my eyebrows looking like this. So I'm gonna speed through my eyebrows and then we're gonna finish up the look. This is as good as it's gonna get for the brow. All right, let's take our, put this stuff off our lips. I'm gonna do the Better Than Sex Mascara. Okay, so my favorite quick little thing, take the bronziest color. Didn't I do this in the last video? This is Dior Dior. It doesn't need to be acting pure pure. Okay, we're just gonna blend the bronziest shade, super simple. And maybe like let's do the shade and just put it in the corner. My hair smells so good. That Dub dry shampoo, my hair smells so good. Like, and you already know, my hair be smelling like smoke. That is not cute, ladies. Make sure your hair smells good because that's a part of your hygiene routine. Like, I gotta wash my hair tomorrow anyway, but you know, I'm not gonna wash it today. I don't feel like it. But if you're not gonna wash it and it smells like smoke or whatever, babes, that Dove, it's the rose, the rose um smell. It smells amazing. Okay. Now that we've done that, let me add back my little, Still see it. Next is eyeliner. I'm gonna do like a little liquid liner, quick liquid liner. Liquid liner don't move, it don't go nowhere. I'm just about to do it. Oh, I'm starving! Uh, I wanna go eat. I'm definitely gonna make him go eat. I mean, he's probably already ate because he's um, working out right now. He ate before he went out, but of course, I haven't eaten because I starved myself. Just kidding, I don't starve myself, but I do kind of like intermittent fast, and that's just because I naturally am not hungry, so I try to do what my body likes. Like, I try to just listen to my body because. One thing about diets and stuff like this is that it's really dependent on your, on you and how you feel when you eat. So you just have to experiment. So I'm normally not hungry mo most mornings. Like I told you earlier, it's all about the liquids for me. So um, I'm not the type of person that likes to eat a lot of times a day. Like I don't even like how I feel when I eat too much. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown, my favorite lip liner of all time, but it's $22, so don't nobody got time for all that. Uh, I use lip liner every day, so I run through it so fast. So I normally, like, I like NYX lip liner as well. And I I like um, BFF3 by ColourPop. That's a really good one. But when I feel like splurging a little bit, I always like to just buy this over and over again. Like, I never get tired of the color. It's the perfect brown. And it's not too red. I hate, I hate colors that are too red. I hate colors that are too light, too ashy. I hate colors that are too dark. Like this is the perfect liner. Did you guys know, okay, so fun fact. Did you guys know that makeup, like makeup traditionally also, the types of makeup that were created were used to mimic like fertility. Like, so cheeks, like when, when a girl's cheeks are like rosy or like nice and just like plump and all the, and hydrated looking, that like signifies fertility. Your eyes, like when you, us wearing eyeliner or mascara and stuff, like that also um, signifies like youth and fertility, but also like the radiance of your eyes, like the whites of your eyes. Um, that's supposed to be like a signal of like um, fertility as well, but like the eyeliner itself, it makes you look older. So I think that was like more of like a sexual type of type of vibe. Like do my handy dandy Maybelline um, gloss. I do love this gloss though. It does what needs to be done. See? Oh, every time, baby. Oh, I forgot to use my lip plumper. We're gonna use the lip plumper. The, where's the, um, the lip injection extreme. Let's give our lips that nice full look. But before we do that, we're gonna add a little bit of this just for a little bit of color. Here's the makeup look. We're gonna do this hair too though, but. Very cute, very simple. 
definitely swipe proof. Oh, speaking of swipe proof, let's spray. You see, I spray my um, um, setting spray like three times. And that's this the real tip. Like, if you really want your makeup to last all day, no transfer and all that, this is the one. Okay, so we are back. This has coconut milk, strawberries, banana, peanut butter, coconut water, and yeah, that's it. It's really thick. Oh, and I put some flat seeds on my flat iron. Gonna put some heat protectant. Heat protectant. Oh my hair, and I like test my edges out. I'm gonna a little bit like on like a very low setting. It doesn't look that bad. It's just kind of dirty. So, I have it on. The highest is 450. This looks like it's like 375, but I have it on. So I'm just gonna like test the part stuff like a little bit underneath. Just a tiny bit only. You know, I don't really own nobody no press edges, but. Just because I like pressed edges, I'm gonna do it for me. I like I like the way pressed edges look. Period. So, and if you see smoking, that's just because like the product, like the flat iron is really like in contact with the product that I put on my edges. That's not the edge actually burning. I take very good care of my hair, you guys. Like very good hair okay so just that little bit little tap tap you see the difference i feel like that's really all we needed i am gonna put some like edge control or something on my edges as well which i don't recommend to do before you flat iron always do it after and like try not to do it continuously you can put any highlighter on look at how that cream blush okay I'm back with cream blush. Cream blush, cream, cream, cream blush is my new thing, okay? Because listen, the way that I just did what it needed to do in my skin is giving. Okay, so I'm also just gonna hit my bangs in like a little bit. So just to give me some like curls, I'm just gonna wrap them on a little bit. It's just not much that we can do with this. But this is a hot tools curler. I have it on my hand. Okay. So um, I'm just gonna curl it. I'm gonna wait a few seconds. I'm, just trying to, I'm not trying to get like too big a curl, just a little bit for some body. Okay, yeah. That is what I was trying to get. On the side, just some pieces to fill the face. That gave exactly what we needed. Okay, so we are in my bedroom. I just did my hair. I just like took two pieces, pulled them back, and then pulled my bangs to the front. I just felt like this was gonna go better with the outfit that I am deciding to wear. And it looks really cute. Okay, perfect for hot weather, and I just feel like I look adorable. When you have old hair, like having your face is stupid because it just doesn't lay like how it's supposed to. <clears throat> so for my set, I'm gonna wear a little Fashion Nova set, which is always perfect for the summertime, always cute. So it's a top and a bottom, so it's a skirt, and I feel like it's gonna be so adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, and I'm gonna show you guys the finished look, and then get into a fragrance, and that's it for this the appointment. <laughs> Finished some look. Okay, I haven't decided which shoes I'm gonna wear yet, but I have my bag. And this is so cute. I just feel like this is the perfect little deal permit fit, to be honest, because I just feel like. No, 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 Okay, so for fragrance, I showed you guys this earlier, kind of, but let me get into it, though, because it's my new favorite, like, body spray. This is the Sol Janeiro. I like the original one, but this one is, they, this one smells like an ice cream cone. Like, when I wear this mixed with, like, my native lotion, I feel like I smell like a vanilla coconut ice cream. It just comes through. It smells so good. I'm gonna do a 
It smells so good. So anyway, you guys, that is basically this D appointment. Get ready with me. I actually really like this style of video. I'm definitely gonna do this again. Like this video, subscribe if you like this type of content, and I will see you in my next. Give away. I just wanna fuck with you. Just ain't know I fuck with you. Far from my trust.